and welcome to Coffee with Cassie's Mom, where we discuss how you, the parent, can be involved in your son or daughter's journey on becoming a successful college student. Today we have with us Holly Dressler, the Access Advisor here at Johnson County Community College. Thanks for having me, Fawn. Thank you, Holly. I've heard there's a significant difference between accommodations in the high school level and the college. Could you explain those differences sure. to me? Sure. There really can be a pretty big difference and it can be kind of a surprise sometimes for parents and their students coming to college. Um, and it really starts with not only just the accommodations that are available, but also how to request accommodations. So in high school, students really leave it up to the high school to make sure that the person is identified and gets the services they need. But as soon as they come to the college level, the student is responsible for coming in and requesting those accommodations and making sure that everything is here for them. So they've got to come in and request. And then when we think about accommodations, our directive in college is really to provide equal access to a student. So they come in and we talk about accommodations, but one of the biggest differences is sometimes students in high school get paraprofessional support. So that's somebody in the classroom with them. And that is really more of a personal service that isn't provided in college. So that can be a surprise to some of the students and parents as well. And then the other big difference I would say is with regard to testing accommodations. Some students in high schools are used to taking maybe a different exam or maybe an exam with fewer questions, or if it's in a multiple choice test, they might have two choices instead of four choices on an exam. That's not something that's provided in college. However, what's nice is a student, we encourage them to come in and visit with us and access services so we can really talk them through that transition and those differences between what's available in high school and what's available in college. We want to meet them where they are, find out what needs they have, and really talk through what accommodations we are able to provide. Because there are quite a few testing accommodations that are available, such as extended test time, a reader for a test, testing in a less distractive environment, and we also provide support in the classroom. So again, it's just a partnership that we make with that student and the parents, that first initial visit, so that they have equal access to all the courses that we have here at the college. Well, thank you for sharing about all the different accommodations that JCCC provides. Sure. Appreciate you coming today. Sure. That's all for now. You can find out more tips on Coffee with Cassie's Mom menu on the Johnson County Community College website. Or for your students, they can find extra tips on Coffee with Cassie. Remember, Audrey Hepburn says, nothing is impossible because the word itself says, I am possible.